everybody, this is Sarah Skopik and you're watching Traffic Musings. I apologize for the very bright light you're probably seeing and having this in the way of my face. Uh, Editor John hates this because whenever she has to make the thumbnails, it's atrocious with all the editing she has to do and it never looks right, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, other than that, yeah, whatever. One of the reasons I can't wait for winter because even though it'll be dark out, I guess, at this time, so that doesn't really help with the lighting, at least I don't have to worry about the sun facing me all the time. Hey! So I was trying to muse, uh, muse over topics that I would talk about today, and one thing I, I, I had a couple of options, but I'll talk about this one, because this is really, really funny. So, because I'm just a huge narcissist and super vain, and think I'm the greatest thing ever, read sarcasm, I decided to type in my name Saroscopic into Google, as we've all done with our full names, right? We put our names into Google and see what shows up. Putting my full name into Google never shows up anything interesting, because I don't really have like a huge online presence with my normal name. Uh, and in fact, actually, I'm not even sure if you can access my Facebook because a long time ago, I had clicked the checkbox. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but on Facebook, at least they used to have this, I think they still have it, there was a box you had to check um, where uh, if you were over the age of, I think it was 18? Yeah, over the age of 18, um, to make it that you couldn't be like found through through you know searches like your name like your Facebook page could not be found through a Google search. So under the age of 18, um, you can't be like you could type someone's name and you're not supposed to be able to find them on a Google search, you know, because minors. <laughs> but once you're over the age of 18, that went away unless you checked this particular box, which I did. Um, because back then I was worried about that. Now I guess it's not really a big deal, but whatever. Uh, so you you really can't find me by my full name. But, Saroscopic, you do find some stuff for, which is really f cool. Um, it, you can find, like, you actually, the top results are my actual YouTube page and Twitter and the Facebook page, which is really awesome because that means, hey, I picked a unique name and no one else took it or claimed it, and so now I get to claim it on Google. So that's really fun. But uh, the funniest thing that I found out is, so I saw that there were, like, a couple page of results, and I'm thinking, what on earth could I have page of results for? It turns out, I didn't know this, I guess I should have expected this, but there are um, a lot of websites that are just dedicated to re-uploading YouTube videos. <laughs> And I guess technically this should be like a total breach of, you know, contradiction. This is not a, not a good thing. I just find it hilarious. Now, it's not as bad as uh, some YouTubers get where uh, their videos are just like posted on, I don't know, Pornhub or something. And it's just the video, but it's on Pornhub. I didn't see anything like that. Now, I don't know if Google just doesn't show me those results because that would be freaking hilarious. But I didn't see anything uh, about that. But I did see a lot of other random uh, video um, hosting sites. A lot of them in languages I was not familiar with. Uh, but it was really weird. It was really weird to suddenly like see my the thumbnail for videos of mine in descriptions of my videos on other websites. And so that people could just click on. It would also explain why certain videos of mine, I think, have gotten higher view counts. There's this one particular uh, traffic musings of mine uh, that, for whatever reason, just has a higher view count and is also the first result whenever you type in traffic musings, for whatever reason. And I found out that in this one particular site, video hosting site, that's like the only traffic musings episode they have from me. And so that's really weird. I'm not really sure how to feel about it. I also, apparently my stuff has been on random Undertale sites, but I can't, like, it's what's re it's really weird because you see in the Google search that you see, you know, oh, it's got my, my, vid my Undertale videos, but when I click on the link, it doesn't show me that. It shows something else that's Undertale related. So it's something, something about the link and what's actually there or what's not there or whatever. And so I just, I, I'm just like, well, that's funny. So yeah, what? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to speak here about the legality of things and whether I should do anything about it. Because I guess technically that's not good because people are, you know, stealing my videos and re-uploading them without my permission. And so that's not cool. Like, you shouldn't do that. Um, and it's, it's also, I mean, the problem too is I don't know what those sites are. I don't know if they're making money off of viewing my videos, which I could be making money off of, you know, all, all 50 cents that I have. <laughs> But still, it's it's very bizarre, and so I I, I don't really know. <laughs> it's also kind of weird because, like I said, they're they're in 
different languages, and so I know uh, what may be happening. I don't know this for sure, but uh, YouTube, I think, in certain countries, is not you, you can't you can't go on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know specifics, um, but there are certain countries I am aware of where you know there's censorship of websites and stuff like that, and what you can go into, and you know that's a whole other you know topic of you know censorship of websites and such. I'm pretty. Uh, overall anti-censorship and so for me you know it is it is quite sad that certain countries uh, the people do not have access to even you know to, to certain things just because of that you know I, it, whatever I think I think most Americans are, are I think actually most people are anti-censorship in general but it's just it's just an interesting uh, you know dilemma here and so I'm wondering if some of those websites actually exist as a way to compare at that? Like, are they just, you know, YouTube sites? Not YouTube sites. Are they just other video sites that re-upload YouTube videos because those people would otherwise not have access to them? I don't know. And so there, you know, in that case, that's a whole other question, you know, when you have a issue of a some website that's trying to do this to kind of combat censorship, but at the same time, you are literally stealing. So what do you do with that? And I, I don't have the answers. Um, I... Stealing isn't right and censorship isn't right. I mean, those are two two truths that I think most people can hold on to, but this is kind of a weird thing. I think for some people, uh, this would be, you know, I, I think in certain cases, uh, this this whole, like, you know, video stealing, you know, YouTube videos and re-uploading is not, it's totally not okay, especially for people who live off of YouTube revenue. Uh, I especially had, I especially am not a fan of that because that is their livelihood. That That is stealing someone's art, and I am super anti, I mean, I think everybody is, but like, man, I, 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 it's got, it's to the point that like, whenever I use any kind of, you know, piece of work or art or music or whatever, and anything I do, it has to be like public domain or something like that, you know, because there, there are lots of people that will use, you know, fan art of things, and they're, they're not like advertising the fan art, they're not saying it's theirs, but they're using it and stuff, and I'm just like, nope. Besides the fact that I could get in huge trouble with that with YouTube, especially when it's music, I mean, <laughs> YouTube censors for music is almost a little too good, and yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, the whole fair usage, that's a whole other thing, but I otherwise, you know, it's like, that's a no-no, and so for people, you know, who make their living off of YouTube, um, and you're stealing, you know, views and videos and stuff like that, you know, that's, that's not okay. For me, personally, I'm not upset by the fact that this is happening. Um, it's not, it doesn't seem to be rampant. It's not like, you know, all of a sudden they're taking views away from me. That I don't believe. Uh, but it is really, fu it's just funny to me. It's funny that I'm like, wow, I, my stuff is being, I guess the thing is I don't know if it's being re-uploaded or if it's just shared, but it must be being re-uploaded because why, I didn't like click on the video because I didn't know what viruses were going to be there, if any. I, I just didn't know because I don't know the sites. I just happened to look at the site themselves and probably shouldn't have because probably I need to check my computer. I may have a virus on it now. Oh, gosh. So me personally, you know, it's kind of funny. It's just funny to me that, that somebody, you know, that my videos are being taken and being shown elsewhere. And I don't know. It's, I mean, hey, they say there's no such thing as bad advertising. I don't believe that, but they say there's no such thing as that. So... I mean, hey, whatever floats your boat, I guess. But yeah, I mean, tell me what you think if you have any opinions about this sort of thing. Um, I, like I said, I think I think everyone can get behind anti, you know, censorship is not good and stealing is not good. But I mean, what about those cases where it is? I, it seems to be, you know, where they're re-uploading because you know they don't have access to YouTube. But I also don't know if that's even true. That's just what I'm guessing is what's happening. Maybe that's not what's happening. Maybe they're just terrible people and they're just stealing stuff and making money off of me. In which case, excuse me, my stuff. Give it back. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's all I have to say for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope something amazing happens to you. Without further ado, I hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye! Thank you.